Okay, welcome back again to YouTube Detention. Uh, roll call, Brianna Boho. Mm, sorry, BB, I'm married now, so you're gonna have to call me Mrs. Brianna Lynn Boho Pollen Esquire. That's a mouthful. I love mouthfuls. Uh, Jamie Starles. I have receipts, sister. Oh, so you're like a combination of all the worst beauty gurus. What? Nothing. Mr. Monster? Okay, guys, last one to leave this classroom wins $1,000! Why are you always following me around and copying me? I don't know what you're talking about! I'm a completely original creation! So, you must be... Borgs? Yup! It's me! Borgs! And I brought me mom! My boy's a genius! Mom? Borgin? Okay, the reason I brought you all here today is because you've all done something very terrible on the internet and... Oh my god. Okay, what's with the phones? Ooh, I bet someone's canceled. I can't wait to make a video about it even though I'm not involved in any sort of way. I bet it's an Amber Alert. It makes me so sad to think that someone's out there driving a Toyota Tacoma from 2004. I don't know how me mobile made that noise because the only person I've given me number is me mom. Oh my god. Okay, I'll buy it. What is it? Wait, 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 don't tell me because I don't care. The poll results are in. I'm. Sorry, who are you? You probably know my work. I'm Brad. I run YouTube's biggest live subscriber count channel. I also make Vine compilations of crying babies and compilations of those compilations. They're all very successful. I'm basically YouTube royalty. And what poll are we talking about? It's the poll for the least popular teachers in school. It says that- You're the worst! Can you stop that? No, I'm physically incapable of stopping. I can only yell! Yeah, but you'd be like surprised at what you're capable of doing. Wow, that's really profound, Brianna. Yeah, like shoving two adult male fists in Okay, your stop, never mind. What? I was just gonna say Anyway, I'm aware that I'm not the most popular teacher in school. No. You were the least popular, like the most hated. I have receipts if you want to see it. I don't. Great, because I wasn't going to show you. I'll show you if you want. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't have any receipts, which is what I would say if I were a liar, which I'm not. Look, I used to be really popular when I first started, but different waves of students prefer different kinds of content or teachers for different reasons. And what was once popular is, you know, now mid-tier at best or completely irrelevant given the day. And uh, that's okay though, because um, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm not worried about it at all. You don't seem fine. Or not worried at all. My results beg to differ. Yeah, you seem pretty worried. Pretty worried! worried. What the f***? God! Well, you know what? Okay, I am fine. No, sure, yeah, nobody cares about me anymore, and all the success that I thought I once had is completely irrelevant now, and, and you know what? That's okay! Everything is great! I'm fine! This may come as a surprise because I hide it well, but I'm not fine. We have to help Ian because like, I know he wants me and rejecting him would give me way more clout if he was like actually popular, you know what I mean? I was gonna buy him a recently foreclosed house with zero furniture and several squatters in it, but then I realized that mentoring him will make a much better video. Uh, whatever Mr. Monster said, but like a little bit here, right? I'm looking for someone to mentor, someone who really needs my help. So eventually I can tear them down in a very, very brutal way. <laughs> it's okay, Ian. You're not irrelevant. You're a YouTube legend. Legends live forever. Okay, bro. We're gonna help you. Okay, I don't need help. I'm a big boy. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is collaborate with a more successful, like, more popular teacher, you know? Oh. Ian Hecox. Ian Hecox. Man, I've looked up to that guy for so long. He's the reason I got into teaching. Well, him and Edward James almost. Since Mr. Bruce is the most popular teacher in school, you should do stuff with him. Okay. Oh, oh, uh, um, well, uh, do you think maybe you'd want to, like, collaborate on a lesson plan, or...? You and I working together? Yeah. Oh my god. No. No, absolutely not. Congratulations on, like, still being here way past your prime and still teaching and stuff. That's really inspirational for a lot of other people. Not me, but it's really inspirational. Thanks. Hey, man, it's good seeing you. Bye, Bruce. It's good seeing you, bud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hey, Ian? Y yes? No, we're not gonna do it. Yeah. Great. The cool thing about getting rejected all the time is it never gets any easier, and it hurts every time. 
I've never actually seen someone say no to something before. It feels so gross and wrong. Like finding a pube in your teeth? Honestly, I thought he died. I think I give 20 bucks to a GoFundMe for his funeral or something. You think I get the 20 bucks back? Okay, so collab. So you could do something else. Like you can sleep with another teacher that has like the same level of popularity as you, like Mrs. Elise, the cafeteria lady. Oh, that sounds so fun. We can do it in the cafeteria. I'll turn on my deep fryer. Yeah, sure, why not? I could do it, I guess. To be honest, it's been a long time since I've had any sort of physical, uh, intimate touch with a woman, so I am very much looking forward to making love to Mrs. Elise. The idea of two old people having sex makes me want to throw up, but throwing up makes me like super horny. <laughs> Sick. So after the meaningless cloud sex, then you have to get engaged and then married on a live stream, but not in real life. Say you're gonna take some time apart and then post some videos of yourselves crying, do your own thing for a little bit, and then after a while you pop up on each other's channels as friends and then let everyone just speculate whether you're back together or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, does that make sense? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It, it all sounds very emotionally taxing. Um, <coughs> Emotions don't belong in marriage or YouTube. Shouldn't you know this after like 30 million years? Ian, I cannot believe that you would marry me for anything but love. This is not going to work. Okay. <laughs> I'm really good at playing hard to get. So far, I've never been gotten. Okay, so that went about as horrible as it could have possibly have gone. Uh, how about we just move on from this so I can forget about how sad my life is, yeah? Hey, I got an idea. Uh, do you have a ton of money? No. Uh, what about a chill group of friends who are willing to endure a bunch of f***ed up shit? No. What about- A mom that would sacrifice everything to help a little boy succeed! Hmm, maybe? I actually haven't had my mom in a video ever since our channel's growth slowed down and she told me it wasn't worth her time, but I'm sure she'll be in the video because she loves her little boy. <laughs> no, I won't almost drown in a pool for 48 hours for maybe a thousand dollars. Okay, I understand. Well, anyway, I, I miss you. Mom? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure she's just busy, you know. I'm not even sure Ian's really my kid. The 80s were a really weird time for me. Yeah, really weird. Uh, that's okay, I don't have a thousand dollars anyway. You don't need it! Just lie about the money and never pay your family. My boy's a Janus! Mom? Bargain? Uh, fine, whatever, I'll help you. You need to be controversial in a real harsh way. Like, get really offensive. No, I can't do that. Try using gay wrong, or making fun of fat people, or um, calling cats retarded. Oh, yeah, so I kind of already did all of that, and nobody seemed to really care. Yeah, seriously, we made a video called Retarded Cats. That's still the title on YouTube. You could literally click out of this video and watch that video right now. It's true. Ian subscribers don't even notice when he does something offensive. Wait, are we talking about popularity as a teacher or YouTube? I don't know, this whole metaphor has gotten really confusing. Okay, look, I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that I'm not popular anymore. The weird thing is, you're technically popular, you're just not growing. You're both completely irrelevant and wildly successful at the same time. I am? You are. Dude, you're unkillable. You cannot be killed! That's great. Unkillable. Looks like I'm finally gonna get the respect I deserve. Wow, maybe we should be the ones learning from you. Yeah, that, that's a great idea. Okay, so um, every video requires months of development. So you have your pre-production, your production, your okay, editing. Okay, so like, hold up. How do you plan out getting arrested months in advance? Oh, see, that's the best part. You script everything beforehand. Scripted? How many views does I get? Well, if it's a good video and you're lucky enough, you could get like, Two million views. Uh, uh, are you serious? That's like nothing. I thought millions only came in packs of five. I thought millions only came in like tens and twenties and whatnot. My boy's a mathematician. Mom? Bargain. Is he single? No. My boy's only got room in his life for one woman. I want to show him my deep fryer. He's 15. Little known fact about Elise, 
I love a man who still lives with his mom. Correction, underaged boy. Mom, preferably dead. I feel bad for Ian that she rejected him, but like it's also really nice to meet someone who's into deep fryer sex. When the cafeteria lady made that offer, I felt tingly in my wigglers. I think she wanted me to put my spit spot in a what's it torch, the loo, lift, the tube, buggy, Brexit, Prime Minister. I'll show you. I don't want to see anything you have to show. We'll show you. Uh, well, well, it's me. I'm oh, showing sorry, her. Sorry. Her trash. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't seen that big of a crash and burn since Tati. I spent 24 hours with a midlife crisis. It's not that I don't want to collaborate with him. I just know that if he were in any video at all, it would make it bad. Well, not bad. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Terrible. Why am I attracted to Ian? He's small, feeble, can't lift much, allergic to nearly everything. He's the total teardown and, uh... I'm house hunting. You cannot be killed! You're immune to the slings and arrows of society! You could have had the deep fryer. I would have burned you, baby. The deep fryer? That's my 76 Chevrolet. It doesn't have a muffler on it, so you can always hear me coming.